The simpler and more efficient our lives are, the less stressed we are, and the more time we have. Over the last 14 years of living minimally, I have adopted a few life hacks that really simplify my life. By adopting just a few simple habits, my life is running more smoothly, it's less chaotic, and it leaves me feeling more calm. I've noticed that for me, it's not really the big habits that change my life, but rather little tiny, simple habits that have the most impact. I take a few minutes at the end of my day to look ahead and plan out tomorrow. I make a note of any meetings or appointments I have, along with tasks that I'm aiming to accomplish. This way I'm not getting caught off guard by a scheduled meeting I had forgotten. I have time to reflect on my meetings that are coming up so that when I do show up, I'm 100% present and calm. I am not effective or efficient if I'm frantic. I plan out my outfit and set aside anything I might need for the morning. I map out my morning, being sure to wake early enough to ensure I get my morning routine in, because I can't give of myself unless I've taken time to first practice self-care. Showing self-love by nurturing the physical, emotional, and spiritual areas of my life. I like to make healthy food choices throughout my day. I have found it is far easier for me to be healthy and not spend money eating out when I do a little meal planning and prepping. Weekdays are my busiest time. It feels like there's always a million different things that I need to get done. So when it comes five o'clock, what I'm going to make for dinner is usually the last thing on my mind. Creating a healthy meal plan on Sunday and doing a little bit of prepping makes mealtime stress-free. When I don't have a meal plan, it's far too easy for me to justify eating out, which really affects my wallet and my waistline. Choosing an outfit can be frustrating and a huge waste of time in the mornings. Simplifying my wardrobe has been one of the best things I've learned through living minimally. Using a capsule wardrobe method has saved me time and money. I only keep the items I absolutely love and wear. I stick to a neutral color scheme giving me the options to mix and match to create new outfits. I used to keep around a lot of various kinds of clothes, which would make my closet and drawers really cluttered and making me feel overwhelmed. Many times I would just simply overlook some of the items that I already owned. I live in a four season climate. It's really handy to keep my out of season clothes in a storage bin. This frees up closet and drawer space, making it easy to see all of my clothing options. 
When spring comes, I put all of my winter coats, scarves, and hats into storage and take out all of my shorts, skirts, and dresses for summer and spring. This is a great method to use when living in a small space. Changing out my clothing storage with the change of season is the perfect time to declutter my wardrobe. I'm already looking at and folding each item I own, so decluttering my clothes while I'm taking things out of storage is very efficient. If it's something I didn't wear all summer, it's probably something I can donate. If I'm not excited to wear last year's hat and scarf, it might be time to switch it out. at decluttering like curating my future. I declutter while I keep my future self in mind. Shaping the kind of life I want and not holding on to the life I had. I'm very particular about the items that I am letting go of and also new items that I choose to bring into my life to make sure that they are in line with my ideal future. Visual clutter can be very distracting. I notice that when I have a lot of visual noise, I become agitated, less calm, and less productive. I reduce visual clutter in my home by eliminating some home decor and knickknacks. I also find it very useful to keep my workspace clutter-free, neat, and tidy. This way, I'm more productive. A great way to keep my kitchen clutter-free is to utilize all cupboards and drawers. This keeps the countertops clear, which makes my kitchen easy to clean and looks organized. My stress levels always increase when I am trying to head out the door and I can't find something. For me, this is 100% avoidable chaos. By simply giving everything a home, I know exactly where everything is, saving me unnecessary stress and anxiety. This also cuts down on the visual clutter in my house. Paper, mail, bills, statements have ways of duplicating and piling up. This always made me feel extremely overwhelmed. Whenever I would look at piles of paper that I needed to sort, open, go through, I would put it off <laughs> because I just didn't want to tackle it, which isn't great because they wouldn't go away, they would just keep accumulating. Hallelujah for paperless technology and auto pay. With one click of a button, I can stop all of the paper statements from getting mailed to my house. I set up all of my payments on auto pay, saving me a ton of time. Two things that have made my life easier and more efficient. For all of my important documents that I might need later, like a medical bill, I will scan and save digitally. I use this handy app that I have used for several years. Now they are not sponsoring me. I just really like this app. It's called Tiny Scanner. I open the app, take a picture of the document, and it scans it. Then I file it away, making it super easy to find whenever I need it.
living minimally and mindfully has really impacted my life over the last several years. It has simplified my life, given me more peace and calm, and made me more efficient. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and become part of our mindful community. Have a beautiful day.